Could the Duke and Duchess of York be on the brink of a surprising reconciliation? This is a question that has been echoing through the grand halls of the House of Windsor, and indeed, around the world. But to understand the significance of this possible reunion, we must first journey back to the beginning of their story. Prince Andrew, the Queen's second son, and Sarah Ferguson, a vivacious redhead, were childhood friends. Their friendship blossomed into love, leading to a grand royal wedding in the summer of 1986. Their union was celebrated not just in Britain, but globally, as the world watched this fairytale-like romance unfold. Two beautiful daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, were born from this marriage, adding to the joy of the royal family. Yet, as is often the case with fairy tales, their marital bliss did not last. Strains began to appear in their relationship, and in 1996, after 10 years of marriage, they officially parted ways. The reasons for their separation were many and complex, a mix of personal and public pressures that eventually took a toll on their union. However, this was not the end of their story. Despite their separation, the Duke and Duchess have remained close, raising their daughters together and maintaining a united front. This enduring bond between them has been a beacon of hope for many who believe in second chances and the power of love to overcome adversity. In recent times, whispers of a possible reconciliation have been echoing through the palace halls. The Duke and Duchess of York, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, find themselves center stage in an unfolding narrative as captivating as it is intimate. The royal grapevine suggests a tale of renewal, a rekindling of vows that once bound two hearts in the grandeur of royal matrimony. Amid the turbulencies of royal affairs, it seems that the stormy clouds that have long hovered over Prince Andrew might finally be parting. Accusations and controversies, those long shadows of the past, might soon be eclipsed by the promise of a new dawn. The bonds of family, and perhaps a quest for redemption, are paving the way for a new chapter in their shared story. The whispers grow louder, hinting at King Charles's regal blessing for their possible reunion. This royal sanction adds a layer of gravitas to the whispers, underscoring the importance of unity and support within the House of Windsor. Yet, the whispers also hint at the complexities inherent in such a union. The echoes of past grandeur contrast starkly with the modest ceremony that could take place at the All Saints Chapel, painting a vivid picture of changed circumstances. As the narrative continues to unfold, we are left to ponder the delicate interplay of redemption, familial bonds, and the ever-watchful eye of public scrutiny. In the grand tapestry of royal life, the threads of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's story continue to weave a pattern of intrigue and speculation. The possibility of their reunion raises questions about redemption, familial bonds, and the impact of public scrutiny. A potential reunion between the Duke and Duchess is not without its complexities. The whispers of reconciliation, the subtle nods from King Charles, all paint a picture of a possible new beginning. But this potential union raises more questions than it answers. In the grand halls of their past, the Duke and Duchess of York were a symbol of royal grandeur, their wedding a spectacle of pomp and pageantry. Yet, the whispers suggest a more modest ceremony at the All Saints Chapel this time around. This stark contrast raises questions about the changed circumstances. Has the royal family adopted a more introspective approach to life within the royal fold? Or is this a reflection of the Duke and Duchess's personal journey, a sign of their quest for redemption? The King's potential support adds another layer of intrigue to this narrative. It suggests a royal sanction, a nod to the importance of unity within the House of Windsor. But what does this mean for the royal family? Does this signal a shift in the dynamics within the palace, a new era of unity and support? Or is it simply a father's wish for his son's happiness? Then there's the ever-watchful eye of public scrutiny. How will this potential reunion be received by the public? Will they see it as a sign of redemption for the Duke, a second chance at love for the Duchess? Or will it be seen as yet another controversy in the turbulencies of royal affairs? These questions add a layer of complexity to the narrative, turning it into a tale as intriguing as it is intimate. It's a story of personal redemption, familial bonds, and public scrutiny. It's a story about the Duke and Duchess of York, and their potential journey towards a new beginning. 
As the narrative unfolds, we are left to ponder the interplay of personal redemption, familial bonds, and the ever-watchful eye of public scrutiny. What does the future hold for the Duke and Duchess of York? Only time will tell. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, Queen Camilla looking giddy and gleeful out in Cambridge. Did you know that channel members can get an exclusive video every week? That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges, and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.